All right, so let's look at balancing a redox reaction in an acidic solution. You're still going to follow the same steps that we did in the neutral solution. You're going to pair up your half reactions. So here I'm going to pair up Cr2O7 with the chromium 3 ion. And I'm going to pair up the iron 2 ion with the iron 3 ion. Now, since the hydrogen ion and the waters, we're going to add those back in in our um, process of balancing. If there's ever more than two reactants and two products, you can usually ignore the hydrogen ion and the water uh, molecule because you're going to add those back in later. All right, so let's get to balancing these half reactions. You balance everything except for the oxygens and the hydrogens with coefficients. So there's two chromiums here and only one here. So I'm going to put a coefficient of 2 in front of the chromium 3 ion. That balances my chromiums. The ions are already balanced. So let's go to the next step. Balance your oxygens with water. So there's seven oxygens here. So that means I'm going to come over here and I'm going to put seven waters. And that's going to give me seven oxygens now on both sides. There are no oxygens here to worry about, so I skip that step. Next, you want to balance your hydrogens with hydrogen ions. There's 14 hydrogens here. 7 times 2 is 14. So I'm going to come over to this side, and I'm going to add 14 hydrogen ions to the reactant side. That gives me 14 hydrogens on each side now. There are no hydrogens down here, so again, you skip that step. The next thing you do is you balance your charge. So remember, you multiply the coefficient to any charge on the species. So 14 times plus 1 gives me a plus 14. And this is 1 times 0, because this is neutral, is 0. So you've got a positive 14 on this side. Look to your product side. 2 times 3 gives you a plus 6. And this is 7 times 0 is neutral, so it's a plus 6 on this side. I've got a positive 14 here, and I've got a positive 6 here. Remember, you always add your electrons to balance your charge, and you add your electrons to the most positive side. So, in order to get my charge to be balanced, I need to add 8 electrons to this side. So, I'm going to say plus 8 electrons. That gives me a negative 8. So, a negative 8 and a plus 14 give me a plus 6. Now the charge on both sides is the same. Now let's balance the charge in the second half reaction. There's a positive 2 on this side and a positive 3 on this side. Add your electrons to the most positive side. So we're going to have one electron. And that's going to give me a plus 2 and a plus 2. Now before you add your half reactions back together, you've got to make sure that your electrons will cancel out. So since I have 8 electrons here and 1 electron here, I need to multiply this whole half reaction by 8 so my electrons will cancel. So this whole thing, I'm going to say times 8. And that's going to give me 8 iron 2s. It's going to give me 8 iron 3s. And it's going to give me 8 electrons. Now your electrons will cancel. And they must cancel out. You cannot have electrons showing up in your final balanced redox reaction. Nothing else cancels out. Now, if you had some waters on this side, they would cancel with any waters that you had. So you can had you have to get it down to the net number of waters. But there's nothing else to cancel. So you're going to bring everything down, going from left to right. I always start here. So I'm going to bring down 14 hydrogen ions plus Cr2O7 plus 8 iron 2 ions yields 2 chromium 3 ions plus 7 waters plus 8 iron 3 ions. If you go back and check for the number of atoms as well as your overall charge on each side, you will find that you have 14 hydrogens on each side, 2 chromiums on each side, 7 oxygens on each side, 7 times 2, 
I'm sorry, seven times one, and eight irons on each side. Do the same for charge. You'll find your charge is also balanced. Let's do one more, number three. Pair up your components of your half reaction and then bring them down. So I'm going to bring down H2O2, the hydrogen peroxide, with water. That's the only thing he paired up with over here. So we bring the water down in this case. And then the iron two with the iron three. Now, this only has hydrogens and oxygens, so I don't use the coefficient to balance. These ions are already balanced, so you go to the next step, which is balance your oxygens with waters. And there's two oxygens here and only one on this side. So I'm going to add another water to this side. So that gives me two oxygens and two oxygens. I have two hydrogens on this side, but four hydrogens on this side. So I'm going to balance my hydrogens with hydrogen ions. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to say plus two hydrogen ions. You always balance your hydrogens with hydrogen ions, not coefficients. That gives me two hydrogens here plus these two is four hydrogens and four hydrogens. There's no hydrogens or oxygens to worry about here. Next, we're going to balance our charge. So let's check our charge out. Two times one is a plus two. This is neutral. So the whole... This whole side here has an overall plus two charge. This is zero. Both of these water molecules are neutral. You add your electrons to the most positive side right here. This is your most positive side. So I'm going to say plus two electrons, and that'll give me a negative two. Plus two minus two equals zero. Now both sides have zero for their charge. Balance your charge on the second half reaction plus two and a plus three. So I'm going to add one electron to this side and that balances my charge on this side. Make sure my electrons cancel. So I'm going to multiply this by two and I'm going to multiply two, two, two. All right. So now my electrons will cancel out. And I've got two electrons here, canceling with two electrons here. And nothing else cancels. So you're going to bring down two hydrogen ions plus H2O2 plus two Fe2 plus. Yields. You can go ahead and bring your waters together. Two H2O, since there's two of them and then 2Fe3+. If you go back and check, you will find you have two hydrogens plus these two here give you four hydrogens on this side and four hydrogens on this side. You have two oxygens and two times one is two oxygens. You have two irons and two irons. This reaction is balanced. Hopefully this helps out. Um, we'll talk about this some more in class um, next time. Thanks.